right. Shalom, y'all. Shirala. Back at it again with another lesson. Through the spirit and power of your heart, Bashim Yahashah, Bashim Yahakudash. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all honor, and glory, and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahawah, Bahashim, Yahawah Shah, Bahashim Yahakudash. Next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, who still go out to the highways of Bowies and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and her rule well. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy, and salutations unto the Akims out there who is pushing this truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities. In the names of Yahabah, Shem Yahashah, what the people here, what do they forbear? You know, that got it again with another lesson through the Spirit of Power, Yahabah, Shem Yahashah, Bashem Yahakodash. The name of this lesson is going to be called Remember the Lord Hears Our Prayers, man. You know, we being a men of the Lord, Lord's will will be, we endure to the end, you know what I'm saying? Lord's will will be of the elect. You know, the Lord hears our prayers, man. You know, every prayer that we send up, whether it's a blessing or a curse, the Ha'abashim Yahashah, who the word really calls God in Jesus Christ, hears it and um, answers it, man, in due time. You know, so without further ado, we're going to go right into the scriptures. This is the book of St. John, chapter 9. Was it? Now, chapter 9 verse 31 and it reads now we that know Yahweh uh, by Shemiah Shai hear of not sinners exactly Yahweh by Shemiah Shai don't hear the prayers of the sinners man you know because the scripture says I believe it's a proverbs that uh, he that turneth his away from hearing the law even his prayer shall be an abomination man which an abomination is a wicked filthy act you know so the Lord's not hearing the, the the sinners of our people. Now don't get it twisted. We're all sinners, of course. But that's talking about the ones who willfully sin, those who hear the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua through the prophets and and, and uh, reject the word, man. You know the Lord's not hearing their prayers, man. This is the book of uh, Saint John nine and thirty one again. Now we know that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua here of not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh by Shemal Shah and do of his will, which is doing his work. That's the will of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 says it all. Let us see the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh by Shemal Shah first and foremost and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So, this is the will of the Lord, which is to fear him and keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible to the best of our abilities, man. You know, doing what we got to do to serve the Lord, man. He says, whosoever, he said, uh, whosoever, or, yeah, if, let me read that one more time. Uh, St. John 9 and 31. Now, we know that Yahweh Shema Shah here of not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh Shema Shah and do of his will, him he hear, right? Yahweh Shema Shah is hearing the, the prayers of the righteous, man. You know, that, because the scripture says, um, uh, in Wisdom of Solomon, I believe it's 7 and 28, it says, uh, The Lord, the Most High, Yahweh, Shema, Shai, love of none, except them that dwell with wisdom, man. We're just talking about the elect, which we're hoping to be, man. You know, we are the hopeful elect, but we're hoping to be the elect, to be saved, man. You know? So, uh, yeah. And, uh, and, and by Yahweh, Shema, Shai, not hearing the prayers of the sinners, the two-thirds, that means he hates them, man. So now we're going to get another precept. Give me one moment here. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 15. Proverbs 15, verse 29. And it reads, Yahweh Shemiah Shah is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. Exactly, man. Yahweh Shemiah Shah is not dealing with the wicked of our people, man. You know, Yahweh Shema Shah is not dealing with wickedness, man. You know, all the sinners of the Lord's people is going to die by the sword, man. You know, any killing instrument that Yahweh Shema Shah sets them up for them to be destroyed by, man. But he said, but he heareth the prayers. He heareth the prayers of the righteous, man, which is the elect. You know, which we're hoping to be uh, the elect, man. You know, Yahweh Shema Shah is hearing the, uh, the, 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 the prayers the sign and the cries of the men of the Lord, man, that he set up. You know, the Yahweh Shema Shah is not dealing with the wicked. The wicked the wicked of our people and the wicked, which is Esau, Edom, are going to be destroyed, man. Yahweh Shema Shah is going to destroy them. 
you know, and put the elites of the other nations head first into slavery. The Lord's not dealing with them, man. So now we're going to go from there to the book of Psalms. Give me one moment, Akiyun. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 17. The righteous cry, and Yahabah Shemar Shahira. Exactly, the righteous was once again, which is talking about the elect, man, the men of the Lord that he set up, man. Which Lord's one would be those men that endure to the end. Starting off with our apostles, and it was a great millstone, man. You know, Yahabah Shemar is the only dealing uh, here on the cries of the Israelites, man. You other nations, when you pray to your uh, your uh, your entities, your idols, your gods, you know, they they, they, they don't exist, man. Only Yahabah Shemar Shah is the true living power, man. You know, he only hear and he only hear hearing the prior the, the cries and the prayers of the elect. This is the book of Psalms, thirty four, verse seventeen. The cry, the righteous cry, and Yahabah Shemar Shah heareth. Which he, the, the righteous cry meaning going into our prayers. And reads, and deliver of them out of all their troubles. Exactly, yo. Exactly. And Yahweh Shema Shah delivered the, the men of the Lord out of all their troubles, man. You know? When you go back into history, into the scriptures, man. You know, although our people kept going, uh, 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 keep going off. You know, Yahweh Shema Shah always hear our, our, our cries, man. Our prayers, our supplications unto him, man. But now on this side... He's only dealing with the, the prayers and the supplications of the elect, man. You know? The rest of the two-thirds, their prayers are an abomination. The Lord's going to destroy them, man. You know? And Yahabah Shema Shah said he delivered them out of their troubles, man. You know? And Yahabah Shema Shah is going to deliver us out of the troubles of, of, of Jacob's trouble, man. You know? Even now, you know what I'm saying? In the situations, the hell that we catch in our house or on our jobs or, um... Uh, on the streets, man, you know, uh, uh, in our cars, Yahabah Shema Shah delivers out of all those troubles, man, you know, so now we're going to go to the book of 1 Peter, let me see, uh, let me see, the book of uh, 1 Peter, chapter, what is that, let me see, hold on, I believe that's 1 Peter's 1, Kind of funny. Bear with me for one moment. I can. I'm using a different sword as well. Um. Let me see. Uh, let me see. That three, maybe three and twelve. Yeah, this is the book of First Peter, chapter three, verse twelve. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. Exactly, and the eyes of the Lord are the angels, man. You know, the, the Yahabah Shemar Shah uses the angels as, uh, uh, what's them things called? Binoculars? Binoculars? I can never pronounce that word. It's like if I'm saying that word. No. Binoculars? You know, when you, um, when you want to see something far away, the binoculars, uh, zoom it in. Once you, uh, you put your eye close up to the, um, to the, to the, to the mirror thing. You know, that's exactly what the angels of the Lord are, uh, to, to Yahabah Shemar Shah, man. You know, the angels are Yahabah Shemashah's binoculars, man. Binoculars. You know, I can never pronounce that word. And it reads, and his ears are open unto their prayers. Exactly. Not only did the Lord see us, Yahabah Shemashah, uh, not in the, excuse me. Not only did the Lord see us through the angels, Yahabah Shemashah hear our prayers through the angels, man. Because the angels are the ones that's reporting and writing down our prayers and our supplications, and they're sending it right up back to their spirit well to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. You know? Yahabah Shemashah uses His angels to do so. You know? So, uh, and it reads on, But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And exactly, uh, uh, the two-thirds of our people, Yahabah Shemashah is against them, man. And these other nations, man. You know, starting off with the so-called white man Esau Eden, which is the wicked, man. You know, but he's not dealing with the two-thirds of our people as well, man. The two-thirds of our people who don't want to get right and repent, you know, for all that wicked what wicked deeds and doings and sayings, they're going to be destroyed by Yahabah Shemiah Shah, man. You know, Yahabah Shemiah Shah is against them, man, because they're against the Lord. You know, if you're against the men of the Lord, you're against the Lord, man. So now we're going to go to the book of, uh, what is it, 1 John? Let me 
Let's see, First John. This is the book of First John, chapter five, verse uh, fourteen. And it reads, this is the book of First John, five and fourteen. And this is the confidence that we have in Him. Exactly, man. Confidence, man. You know, you know, when you go, when you're confident in something, you know, you you know that it's um, like like we like like with faith, so to speak. You have faith that you can do it, man. You know, like like, like, like these NBA players, man. Uh, if they 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 have confidence that they're going to win that 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 game, man, or they have confidence that they're going to win the NBA the NBA champ NBA championship ring, man. So they work hard and they have faith. You know what I'm saying? Because they want that dream to come true. That's the same thing we're doing on this side. We have faith in Yahweh Shemal Shah, and we know that if we uh, 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 do the works of Yahweh Shemal Shah, the Lord's going to uh, uh, give us salvation, man. You know? We have confidence in the Lord. This is the book of 1 John 5 and 14. For, and this is the confidence that we have in Him. We used talking about the elect, which we're hoping to be, because the two thirds are not thinking about the Lord. It reads that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us, man. Exactly. So, if it's a, a, a if it's in Yahweh Bashim Shah's plan to give you a, a certain thing, you know what I'm saying? That you're asking for, He's going to grant your wish, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim Shah is hearing the prayers of the righteous, man. Because when the two thirds of our people pray, first and foremost, they're not using the right name. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, they're praying for vanity, man. Uh, cars, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're praying for uh, uh, stuff that uh, stuff that pleases their flesh instead of pleasing the spirit and the Lord, man. So Yahweh by Shema is only hearing the prayers of the righteous, man. You know, on, on this side, this is the book of First John five and fourteen again, and this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, which is like more wisdom, or knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. You know, to remove demons off of us so we can serve him even more even more better. You know, we ask the Lord for our daily bread. You know, we ask the Lord to protect us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 from, uh, from, from anything, man. You know, and he says he will do, man. And Yahweh Shema Shah has been doing that for the righteous, man. Every time we pray to Yahweh Shema Shah, you best believe... That those prayers are going up to him, man, and he's hearing the he's hearing our cries, man. He's hearing our supplications, man. You know, he's hearing the the, the, the prayers of the righteous. And it says, and he heareth us exactly, which meaning he's attending to our cry, man. He's not uh uh he's not he's not doing our prayers like he's doing the prayers of the two thirds, man. He's taking the prayers of the two thirds and putting it behind his back, man. You know. But the prayers of the elect of the nation of Israel, he's uh he's 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 carefully uh reading it, so to speak, and he's answering it, man. You know? So now um uh, we're gonna go to the book of Jeremiah. Through spirit by Shimash. He's raining cats and dogs out here, man. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 12. And it reads uh, then shall ye call upon me, and I shall like, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Exactly, and that's exactly what the men of the Lord is going to do, man. The men of the Lord don't have to get carnal out here, man. We have power in Yahweh Shem Yahushua, and through this word, this knowledge, and wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, man. We don't have to bear arms. We don't have to use any weapons, man. We don't believe in the uh, uh, physical carnal weapons, man. We believe. In the in the scriptures, man, this is the this is the most powerful weapon right here. The wisdom, of knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, and uh, the prayers are the most deadly weapon of the uh, of the of the Israelites, man. The prayer to Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, to have Yahweh by Shemiah Shah on your side, man. You know, because if the Lord can be a, uh, if the Lord be with us, who can be against us, man? You know. So back in Jeremiah twenty nine verse twelve. Then shall ye call upon me. You got to know the name of the Lord in order for you to call upon him. Which you have to be taught through men of the Lord to uh, break down those names for you. And it's up to the Lord to whether you receive it or not. And it reads, and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you. Exactly. The Lord's going to hearken unto the prayers of the righteous, the men of the Lord, the elect, which we're hoping to be, man. You know, and Yahweh Shemashah has been answering our prayers, man. 
whether it was small or whether it was big, man. You know? Just the fact that we're just just the fact that we woke up with the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures that we prayed for the night before, you know what I'm saying? And, and we still we wake up in the morning and still got this truth is a prayer answered from your high body shimmy shot. We can't neglect that, man. We can't neglect that. We woke up the next morning. Praising the names of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. We still on fire for this truth. Or even more on fire for this truth, man. That's a prayer answer, man. Yahweh by Shimon Shai is hearing our prayers, man. You know? So now we're gonna go to the book of uh we're gonna go to the book of Psalms, chapter uh 66, verse 17. And it reads, I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. Exactly, we cry, we cry out to Yahweh Bashima Sha with our mouths, man. You know, that's what prayer is for, man. And Yahweh Bashima Sha is hearing our prayers, man. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashima Sha. You know, so what was that again? I probably read the wrong verse. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I believe. Um, I think that was the wrong verse. Salakia, uh, Salakia, I can. But yeah, that word extol, I forgot what that word extol means. Do I got my phone with me? Nope, it's in the house. Man. Alright, Con, but I believe that was the wrong verse. Salakia, you know. But the point is of this lesson that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh who the world eagerly calls God and Jesus Christ, are only uh, hearing the prayers of the, uh, the righteous, which is aka the elect of the nation of Israel, man. You know? So, hey, with that, Lord with this video is edifying for you. I can try that's watching through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimon Shah. Before I close out, I want to give all honor and glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Achakudash. Next, I double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy unto the Akims out there who is pushing this truth in the four corners of the earth. Until next time, I say Shalom.